But yeah, I'm Mariah. I'm from here, Sacramento, California. Uh, my sister, Sienna Jackson, she's a place for the U.S. team, U.S. women's team, and I'm just like, I'm just here helping out, you know, just, I'm honored to be like a part of the staff and, you know, to be a part of the girls' journey and celebrate them while they're here and to be a, to their accomplishment of like making it to the, to this World Cup tournament and so, um, but yeah, that's, that's just a little bit. So, you're a soccer player. Yes. Where did uh, you, tell me about soccer in your life. Um, soccer has always been like my escape. I was going through a lot at home, and so I always, I always resorted to soccer. I always made friends through soccer. All my friends were soccer friends. I never had friends in school, really. Outside of soccer. Yeah, yeah. I never had like high school friends or you know go to like the proms and shit like that oops sorry no okay. <laughs> this is wrong it's I'm good. sorry yeah, it's, yeah. No, no, perfectly fine okay so tell me a little bit about how you found street soccer through my sister yeah i just got back home playing professionally overseas mm. and um you know she was always telling me oh like i'm gonna play i play street soccer and you know i'm 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 doing this i'm like oh okay like that sounds cool that sounds cool then, like, when I finally got home, I went to Lisa's program um, downtown off of Broadway. They had the street soccer set up, and I was just like, whoa, like, this is so new. I had been away from home for, like, four and a half years, and I came back, and there was all this stuff set up, all the fields set up, lights, and I was just like, oh, like, this is cool. Like, this is a big deal, you know? And uh, I just started doing research. I watched some of the old tournaments. I got to know Lisa really well, and... Um, you know, my sisters just started telling me stuff and I got to see things firsthand and I was just like, this is this is awesome, you know, like definitely something I want to be a part of and um, yeah, like Lisa asked me to like help out with the team, to help coach the team and everything and I was just like, I'm honored, you know, to, to, to help out. But yeah, I, I, I found out about it directly from my sister. Yeah, because this is, this is how, this is what she got involved in. So can you tell me a little bit about your childhood? Um, I had a, I had a okay childhood. Um, my mom was very like financially supportive, but not like emotionally or anything else. So, um, I always had like the things that we needed and wanted, but never had that like, never learned any like lessons or never like knew how to like move through life, you know? And it, it, it kind of pushed me to like, to seek that information from other people. And, um, you know, I, I went through a little bit. My sister and I went through a little bit, but... Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, just like... You just, don't have to go into detail, but just kind of give an idea as to what you're referring to? Yeah, just like, you know, just like... Just trying to, like, seek knowledge from people who, like, maybe don't have it. You know, like, because my mom wasn't very open. I think she raised us, like, out of fear. And... Um, so, you know, just, uh, yeah, just, just things like that. I don't know. Like just, just, just trying to grow up, but not getting the right information. Like guidance, the, guidance. Yeah. The proper guidance. Like, so, you know, so if you could send a message to your players mm. in, in reference to the homeless world cup and what they've achieved, if you could talk about a little bit about what they've achieved but also a message to them. Mm. It's never final, you know? It's never it. Like, with, there's always a, a, a positive outcome as long as you have that mindset to seek that that information, like, to, to find that, that your truth and just walk in your truth, you know? Like, you, it, you, your outcome doesn't matter where you come from or where you start you know and just to just i don't know i'm sorry i'm not good at it no just no like, no, just, no no this is yeah. you're doing great yeah you're doing no, great. Just, just to like how, how about a message to your coaches my coaches um and, honestly and, like and, and street soccer usa and homeless world cup next up on the orange pitch and it's just a big thank you you know just a really big thank you yeah and um just this is a lot you know and just being able to like have this stage and for to allow people to tell their stories and 
and give them like a award for their resiliency you know like and to acknowledge what they've been through and like you know a lot of people don't face those types of challenges in their life and they don't understand and for how resilient the players are and the coaches and like the world cup for like seeing these these kids you know it's just kids and allowing them to play on the stage like this is just amazing the work that they do so thank you so much i, I really appreciate you guys Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to talk to you, and certainly uh, glad we had a chance to do that. Thank You're you. You're very special. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not good.